testing for nitrite in the presence of glycol, featuring Taylor's K1510. Who should use this kit? Water treaters will find Taylor's K1510 to be a reliable tool for monitoring nitrite levels, especially in waters that have been treated with glycol. In cold and hot closed-loop systems, nitrite, a sodium nitrite, is an effective corrosion inhibitor when used at high enough dosage rates, and it does not require oxygen to function. Maintaining a proper concentration will assure optimal protection against corrosion. At high pH levels, nitrites are also able to protect aluminum and tin surfaces. The drop count titration found in Taylor's K1510 is based on the steric oxidation of nitrite, commonly called the CAN method, to prevent interference from glycol. The endpoint of the reaction will be easy to recognize as the sample color changes from reddish-orange to blue. Because of their portability and ease of use, drop count titrations like the K1510 are favored for field testing. The accuracy of Taylor's drop tests is plus or minus 10% or better. The kit will perform 144 tests at 400 parts per million. The K1510 has an equivalence of one drop equals 40 parts per million sodium nitrite. Alternatively, you could use one drop equals 27 ppm to record your results as nitrite. Note, when testing cooling systems treated with glycol, Remember that this antifreeze will interfere with nitrite tests based on the permanganate method. There is no interference from glycol using the CAN method in the K1510. Before beginning this or any other Taylor test, it is best to read the instructions through to the end. Familiarizing yourself with all the steps to come is particularly important if the test is new to you or if the kit is newly purchased, as sometimes our procedures change. Okay, let's begin. Although most customers use the K1510 to test cooling water, if you are using it to test hot water, you must first bring your sample to room temperature. For this demonstration, we'll be testing cooling water. Note the red dot on the part number 9198R sample tube, which indicates it should be used with red cap reagents in a nitrite test. Rinse and fill this 25 ml sample tube to the 5 ml mark with the water to be tested. Holding the bottle vertically, add 4 drops of reagent 819, Fairwind indicator. Swirl to mix thoroughly. The sample should turn reddish orange. Again, holding the bottle vertically, add reagent 820 can solution, dropwise, swirling and counting after each drop, until the color of the treated sample changes from reddish-orange to blue. Multiply the number of canned solution drops expended by 40 and record as parts per million sodium nitrite. Or, multiply by 27 to record as parts per million nitrite. In this example, we use 23 drops, indicating a concentration of 920 ppm sodium nitrite or 621 ppm nitrite. When testing is complete, remember to rinse all testing apparatus thoroughly. This will prevent cross-contamination of the next test. Taylor manufactures boiler cooling combination kits that include this can nitrite test, K1680, K1690, and K1692. Taylor's knowledgeable customer service representatives are available to provide technical assistance about our products. Call 800-TEST-KIT.